travel in Alaska uh, at times were a, a little bit long, and uh, but it gave us a, a chance to, to mingle with the boys and, and the coaches. We, we had some fun times in the airports and uh, getting to Alaska, we, we found out it was pretty cold pretty quickly and uh, it, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we stayed in four, four, I think it was four hotels uh, over a span of 13 days and uh, the plane rides were nice and long. To kill time on the road, we, uh, we knew, there was a mall nearby in Anchorage, we'd, we'd go to that. Um, obviously in Fairbanks I was able to see my family a little bit which was obviously a un unique for being on the road. Um, I was good planning on doing a little bit of homework, some studying, but that didn't really happen too much. So just a lot of bonding with the teammates. You know, we hung out, played soccer when we were at the other rink and going towards Fairbanks. Uh, we had some time before and after practice to have a Can-Am game. The Canadians, or should I say internationals, uh, versus the USA. Uh, a little combat there in, on the soccer field. It was nice uh, uh, for sure. Getting, getting some competitiveness out there and uh, as a soccer player growing up it was, it was really nice to, to play again. Uh, I played in the one where USA won and that was a good feeling. Uh, you know, I think the, the better team won that game, the uh, more athletic team I'd say. Personally uh, I, I liked Anchorage better. Uh, there was a little bit more to do. There was a mall close by to the hotel, uh, a few restaurants and, and we, I know we went to Snow City Cafe pretty well every day for breakfast and, and the food was phenomenal and we really enjoyed coming back and we got to know the employees there quite well. I think this I'm a little bit biased on this. I, I like I like the Fairbanks area a little more than Anchorage, but yeah, I'm, I'm biased. I'm from around there, so. Anchorage. Anchorage was 10 times better. Uh, Fairbanks was too cold and I felt like we were in the middle of nowhere and Anchorage actually was civilized. Yeah, Thanksgiving Day up in Alaska was a little bit different. You're obviously used to having it with your family and being at home, but they put on a really good meal for us. So Obviously, gotta, it's a bummer that we're not with our parents and stuff, but this is our family away from home, and to be able to spend Thanksgiving with our family here at school is awesome, so to be up there and have dinner together was awesome. And I went and had dinner, was able to go and have dinner with my family. Uh, thankfully, that, that, was, that was really nice to be able to spend uh, the meal with my parents and my brothers. That was, that was special. Um, it was nice to be able to play in front of my friends and family, and um, it, was, it was special t for the guys to come out and uh, helped me get two wins, that, that was meant a lot. Besides winning the last couple of games, I think the best part about the trip was just hanging out with the teammates, playing soccer when we had our days off, and then seeing a moose in our hotel parking lot was pretty cool. Here we are outside the hotel. Uh, Malcolm, can you help us, help describe what's happening behind you there? Yeah, the team has adopted a pet moose. Uh, I think we named him Chester. Uh, when we were checking him out, the lady said that pointed back ears and steam coming out the nose were signs of aggression. We saw all of these. He's really moving quickly now. He's quite limber. There he goes. Bye, Chester. What I enjoyed most about our week in Alaska was uh, was probably the end. There's no better feeling than winning hockey games, and uh, especially getting uh, that first one out of the way, uh, breaking that road streak we had. Uh, of, of losing on the road and, and we broke that one and we, we came out with a sweep. It's, uh, it was a great feeling. It was definitely my favorite part.